Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, just want to let you know that the weeklies will, uh, so the monthlies will be coming back, the weeklies are going to be changing because these and the monthlies will be going behind a paywall, you'll be able to get a membership here on YouTube so you won't have to go anywhere you'll still have the same fabulous content unfortunately it's just going behind a paywall as a part of a membership don't worry if you're not interested in that I have other things that I'll be bringing you as well but I just want to give everyone a heads up to let you know because I've been talking about all of these changes that are coming to radiant reality and everyone's like where are they what's going on <laughs> Well, now you know, all right, so stay tuned. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is, oh my gosh, I've got that bloody itchy nose thing going on right now. And it's driving me insane. So for your <laughs> um, key to the week this week, you've got the hanged man, all right? So uh, this is a card of waiting, patience, stillness, sitting still. It really says, you know, one of the taglines that I love for this card is it's basically a message from the universe to say, like, sometimes the best way to get what it is that you want is literally to do nothing. Sit still, wait, be patient be still, right? So uh, that being said, in all of these different areas of life, you are being asked to just observe, to just look at and wait for things to unfold because they are going to. For your actions and options, you've got the sun, look at this, right? So whatever you do this week, as long as it comes from or is aligned with what your soul really wants from you, your actions are truly blessed. And I say that because the hanged man is a very spiritual energy. It's also somewhat self-sacrificing, right? So this week you have to maybe look at where it is that you've been overly self-sacrificing or where you have some kind of action that you want to take, especially if it's some kind of a charitable action, it's blessed this week, right? It really has the ability to go far. The other thing with the sun card, and this is, it enhances the blessings of everything else that you're going to get from this reading and it diminishes whatever challenges might show up for you. Uh, in terms of the options that are available to you, potentially your time to shine. For your, okay, communications and conversations, you've got the devil card. So we've got the sun card working in conjunction with this and what it means is even the things that you like this week it's like there's a healthy obsession there's a healthy addiction right you're addicted to your work but it's because you're having a great time doing it there's something that you're working on and maybe you know because with the hanged man it's kind of like a do nothing just keep doing what you're doing basically and with that um the, with the the sun card here the message is literally like you are loving what you're doing to the point where like it always reminds me of I don't know if you've heard this story but um when Beyonce was creating the the run the world um video so you know the the song and the video who ran the world um that whole day she literally didn't eat or drink anything she <laughs> like just like a machine right there's a possibility here that you get so into what you're doing and that feels so good, like on a soul level, that you forget to eat, that you forget, you know, like, oh, I feel a bit weird. Oh yeah, because I've needed to go to the toilet for the last 20 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Because you're so engrossed in what you're doing. For those of you that are um, studying or in some form of academia, the devil card with the hanged man, the, the not the culture, but the, the crucible or the surroundings that you find yourself in might be a little bit hostile and you're so into what you're doing that you don't really notice it. I think this, maybe you've got a little bit of the, the Delulu this week, right? Maybe you've got a little bit of the la la la's. I, personally, I love those moments. It's like where you're so like, la la la, like to you, everything's great and everything around and everyone's like at each other's throats and stuff. Um, you know, keep that level of delusion this week is what I'm going to say. For those of you that are 
um, employed by somebody else. It's possible this week that a superior could ask you to focus in a different area that you that you are. And I will say, just you know, be open to the pivot because it might be that you get into this thing and then once you get there, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And you really get into it, right? For those of you that are um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, again you know you're just really engrossed in what you're doing which is great but just make sure that you're not completely running yourself into the ground uh when it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working this for you guys this could be a little bit dicey because it does suggest that you're witnessing somebody else's addiction and maybe it's you know it's got to that point where you're like okay this needs an intervention the sun card suggests that your intervention will have the desired effect but you've got to find the internal grit to say you know what this has gone far enough now i'm going to step in for your love and relations you've got the two of pentacles so if you are partnered married or in a long-term commitment this is you guys balancing the books looking at the resources paying attention to your finances this week you've got this with the devil card so the minutia is something that you don't really care for right it's not you know not to be mean but Sagittarius isn't known for attention to detail it's always you know and I say this out of all care and love but Sagittarius is a bit of a messy sign right and when I say messy I don't mean like dirty or anything like that what I mean is the Sagittarius idea of a beautiful picture is one that's bold and big. It's not necessarily, it's not Mercury, right? It's not Virgo where it's, everything has to be inside the lines. Sagittarius is that big picture. It's like when you look at a, a, you know, a really prized piece of artwork, when you look at it really close up, it's a little bit fuzzy and blurry, right? But then when you zoom right out, it's just this absolute masterpiece that is Sagittarius energy and so having to get into all of the detail like this and be so disciplined and rigid around the resources Sagittarius might be a little bit about that stuff right but it needs to be done for those of you that are single and looking that two of pentacles especially because you've got the sun card here as well it's likely that you're spending money like you're it's like through something that you're spending money on that brings you joy that you actually end up connecting to somebody who could potentially be a love interest. One thing I will say to you though, because it's the two of pentacles, just keep an eye on the fact that this person is probably just getting back on their feet. For your money and materials, you have the sun of swords. So this is the knight of swords. Yeah, look, especially for those of you that are partnered, there's no getting around it. There's potentially some kind of dispute over money resources this week. Um, and it, you know, it doesn't have to be a deal breaker. It's not that you're all getting divorced because somebody, you know, it's not all of that. It's just, it might be some tense conversations around the resources this week. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, the Knight of Swords suggests rushing, all right? You've got the Sun card here, so you've got a fair amount of protection, but please do just be careful if you're rushing around, right? Because there could be some kind of um, speed-based injury. You know, this is where you're, you're running from one room to a next and you catch your foot on the door frame. I'll tell you, I've got my left, the little toe on my left foot is gammy. It sticks out at a weird angle. Um, years ago, when I was 22, and imagine when you start to walk, you use the most force um, when you're walking to distribute your weight and stuff. So when you you take your first step, it's like the most force that you have. Um, I'll never forget this. One day I was late for, I think it was either a job interview or late for my job. And I'll never forget, I was rushing and rushing and rushing and I swung my foot to get out the bathroom and the little toe caught on the door frame. <laughs> and I tell you, my foot, like my whole foot was like, no, that's not even the right color. It was like, like purple, right? Like my whole, the whole side of my foot, that's how I knew it was bad. And for weeks I walked funny and I've never had it reset because it's a toe, right? They can't do anything with it. So please, for the love of money, 
please be careful with yourself this week. All right, with that said, uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment, the Knight of Swords, when it comes to inviting people over, be conscious of whether this person does or does not push your buttons already, because this week it could bubble over. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Remember, change is coming. Take care. I'll see you soon.